Thank you all very much. Thank you. I'm not used to this here on Capitol Hill, so please. So, it, New Rose Piros, is that close enough for a Happy New Year? Uh, but uh, thank you all for being here. It's always great to see you. Uh, a new year gives us a chance for a new beginning and to renew our commitment to the basic rights of, uh, and th that we universally should be enjoying. Let me uh, just say thank you for what you've done, the Iranian-American community. The Persian people are so committed to the right values universally. And that's why the current regime in Iran is so tragic. It does not represent the people of Iran. And this continues. We saw an attempt at elections in February that were neither free nor fair. It was a, an attempt to try to give some legitimacy to this regime that doesn't deserve any legitimacy. We saw legitimate protests in November of last year on the policies of the government, and we saw the brutal repression by the government in pre preventing those individuals from exercising their God-given rights. It's nothing new. It's been going on for over 40 years. It is well past time for this regime to end. And we recognize that that is our objective. Our objective is to keep hope alive. We need to stand united and strong on behalf of the people of Iran. Make no mistake about it. Our policies to isolate this regime, our policies to penalize this regime is on behalf of the Iranian people. It's not against the Iranian people. And our support here on Capitol Hill is not only bipartisan, it's nonpartisan because we know what is right is right. There is no greater mitzvah than doing that. When we can help someone, that's what we need to do. It was Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. who said, each one of us is here for a reason, to help someone else. And when we join together, we can bring about change. We are united on behalf of the people of Iran. God bless and thank you all very much and Happy New Year.